hey guys welcome to another fifth video of the channel and in this video i'll be teaching you about string manipulation very scoring chapter uh, in class 11 so without wasting any time let's begin with the chapter so today's agenda we will first learn how to traverse a string then we will talk about string operators in string operators we will talk about basic operators membership operators comparison operators then we will talk about how to slice a string just like you slice your fruits in your home and then some function and methods of string we will discuss at the last so first of all traversing a string it's a very easy process traversing a string refers to you know repeating through the elements of a string one character at a time so I have taken an example here where I have taken the word super and um, if I run the program for ch in name print ch and then you know this dash and end and uh, some blank space then see what happens here you can see the string has been you know sliced up one character at a time what if I, you know, uh, increase the space between here? More space has been added here. Very simple program. Let's move on to the next topic. String operators. So first one is basic operators. And uh, here first uh, we will talk about string concatenation. Basically we have to add two, you know, words. And then print that word. For example, uh, I have T plus pot if I uh, just you know uh, do the you know addition symbol between them then uh, the Python program will basically uh, add these two words so let's see how it uh, occurs T plus pot if I run the program it will give T pot one limitation here is that not limitation uh, I will you know mention it's a caution here that if you don't add the you know strings in inverted commas and if are they if are, uh, they are just numbers then they will add the numbers you know mathematical addition but if you put them in enclosed with you know quotations apostrophe basically then they will just you know uh, do, will not add the numbers in a mathematical way uh, they will uh, display the one number and then second number like here 2 plus 3 it's 23 Second one is same, but uh, replication. Here we will, you know, multiply the string in uh, n number of times. For uh, this operation, we will use the asterisk symbol here. And uh, uh, as you can see here, I have taken an example: three asterisk symbol into go. So if I print it, um, go go go. Uh, three times the go has been printed. So there was an example I forgot. Uh, I'm sorry 2 plus 3 will give 5 and if they're enclosed in apostrophe, then uh, they will give 23 So yes Here also you have to you know, uh, it's necessary to enclose the strings in uh, apostrophes Otherwise it will do mathematical multiplication like here 2 into 3 is 6. Let's see here 2 into 3 will be 6 and 2 multiplied 3 times then it will be 2 2 2 then there is membership operators actually they tell us about the presence of a you know uh, element in uh, another string for example a in a basically uh, it tells that is a present in here then uh, if it is present it will you know display true and if it is not present like here k is k present in here it will display false so let's see a in here so it displays true as a is present here in here uh, and if i you know run with is k present in here so k in here will give false as k is not present in the string here. The next one is comparison operators. 
and uh, we have uh, you know many types of comparison operators like uh, greater than less than equal to greater than equal to double equal to not equal to and less than actually they are used to compare that is uh, the string a is equal to string b so you know they are basically used for these conversions uh, for example i've taken here small a is equal to small a it will give true but if i say capital a is equal to cap small a then it will declare false so let's see it in membership operators Here you can see here, uh, it returns true as this value is equal to this value. But what if I run this program? It will declare false as capital A is not equal to small a. As you know that Python is a very case sensitive language. So it would, uh, you know, represent the same as a single unit. Next one is string slicing. Basically, uh, you slice uh, fruits uh, at your home, so it's the same way you slice a string in Python program. For this, you have to know about indexing. So basically, uh, you know, if we start indexing from left side, we start it from the number 0. 0 for a, 1 for m, 2 for a, 3 for z and so on. But if we start it from the right side of our, you know, string, then we will start from minus 1 instead of 0. Remember this thing, actually many of the students get confused and they start from right side with 0 then minus 1. We won't do that, we will start from right side with minus 1. Minus 1 for g, minus 2 for n, minus 3 for i and we will move so on. So w is uh, basically uh, a string in which uh, I, have a string, uh, I have a value amazing and if I have to slice it then let's see here. Yes, I will run this program 0, comma, uh, 0 slash 3. Uh, sorry, I will have to run this one first. Yes, now I will run this. And you know, 0, 1, 2, 3. At index 3, we have z, but the Python programs you know gives the uh, results in n minus 1 form. So, 3 minus 1. So uh, till index 2 which is 0, 1, 2 this part it will be printed here as you can see it is being printed and what will be the negative indexing minus 5 to minus 2 minus 5 to minus 2 a z i the same has been printed here. Now some string functions and methods. So basically there are you know number of functions and methods you can perform in a string but uh, we will talk some of them here and uh, many of them I will you know display at the last. But uh, if you want uh, more examples in string functions and you know any other part of the program you want more practice programs or question answers you can visit my telegram channel which i will you know link it uh, in the description box so that you can join from there it will be very beneficial to join the channel so yes do check out that channel and uh, let's uh, move on to the first one which is len function it basically counts the number of characters present in the string for example i have len and hello if i run this program here are five characters here so it will basically print five as uh, you know it will count each and every character enclosed in the string the second one is capitalize so basically it is used to capitalize capitalize a word you know or a string present in the program for example i have hello dot capitalize so it will just capitalize the first letter of the word it won't capitalize the whole string so let's see it hello dot capitalize this is the syntax of the you know program that we have to first uh, write the string then dot then the function and then bracket and some space inside them so you know 
here h has been in lower case letter but uh, here it is an upper case letter as you can see here okay count function basically this string counts the number of substrings present in that string so uh, uh, it sequences string dot count the substring that you want to count from where you want to count and till where you want to count basically the you know starting point of the counting and the ending point of the counting so i have an example here abracadabra and count ab so let's see count ab basically i think there are two abc as yes, it have given the result two there are two ab's but what if i you know add a starting point that from this character to this character from fourth character to eighth character you have to count ab so let's see mm, wait a second there are no you know ab's in fourth to eighth so uh, it has given zero uh, in the result let's move on find function actually it uh, returns the lowest index in the string where the substring is found within the slice range of start and end this uh, you know the program for this is same uh, just uh, instead of you know count we have to write uh, find here and uh, it returns minus one instead of zero if the substring is not found so let's see uh, i must run this one first and string dot find sub sub is ringa here so let's say index it zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so basically at uh, 13 point the first ringa uh, you know occurs so let's see here yes it gives 13 it means that 13th position uh, the ringa is being you know found here also we have the start point and the end point so if we mention here from 15 to 22 there is no ringa so it has returned minus 1 here 15 to 25 it found uh, ringa in the 19th index so it has returned us 19 basically i've uh, you know mentioned some of the uh, string functions and uh, here are uh, the rest of one len capitalize center basically it centers the word uh, with you know the star symbols actually the programmer has uh, you know mention the star symbols and find we have discussed about is as num basically it just you know tells true means it just returns true if there are only numbers and you know digits in the uh, strings so there is you know a space here so it has written false but uh, here uh, there are no space so it has written true is alpha it uh, returns true only if there are you know alphabets if there are you know here uh, numbers are there so it has written false but uh, here alphabets are there so it has written true is digit basically the same for numbers if uh, there is a you know uh, element uh, instead of number then it will return false like here lower it basically lowers all the characters and uh, is lower basically it checks basically in the you know functions which start with is it just checks the program if uh, if it is true or false so if the you know program is lower then it will return true uh, and uh, for it this is uh, same for is upper if uh, they are you know all the programs are in upper uh, case then it will uh, return true otherwise false upper it basically you know converts the small case letter to upper case letter then title it basically you know makes uh, any string into a title swap case basically it changes the case if it is lower case it will change it to upper and if it is upper case it will change into a lower case right uh, you can see here likewise here 
T is small here, T is capital here. A is capital here, A is small here. M is small here, M is capital. Then I, L and the rest of the world. So this was it for you know today's lecture and i told you if you want more description and more practice problems then you must check out my telegram channel which i uh, use link i'll you know mention it in the description below and uh, so yeah let's meet in the next video 